Hey everybody, um, it's Sharon. I'm back again to tell you about a little machine that I bought last weekend. I went to the Country Living Fair here in Columbus and I found a booth that had like old toys and stuff and she had this little teeny sewing machine. Look how cute this is. It's tiny. It's a bell, which I've never heard of a bell. So if anybody's familiar with those, um, any advice, but I wanted to show you, I wanted to open it up, um, with you and we're going to see if it works. So this should be pretty fun because it's super cute. Um, the cord and the foot pedal are inside the lid. So let's get those out. Plug her in. Let's see. Oh, okay. So there is a plug. Well, I'll let me show you the little machine too. So it's this, it's this little green guy. It's tiny. Like, look at that. It's this big. The person at the show told me that it works. It's got little um, accessories in here. Check out these teeny bobbins. Aren't those funny? They're, they're literally like half an inch and there's a little bit of thread on them. So let's see. Let's get it plugged in. Any of you guys sew on antique sewing machines? Um, I have a featherweight that I did all, like all of my sewing on for years when I first started quilting. I didn't get a modern sewing machine till maybe five years ago, maybe six years ago. Um, so the featherweights are really fantastic little machines. Now, not saying that this is anywhere near as cool or like as functional as a featherweight, but um, I just want to check. Oh, look, the light came on when I plugged it in. Okay, so, and forgive the forgive the weird angle here. I was trying to get a combination of you being able to see me as well as the little machine. So maybe if we move a little bit. So we've got the light on. That's progress. Um, it looks like the, the foot goes up and down with this little thing um, behind the, the needle. But one thing that I don't see is how to raise and lower the needle. So this might be kind of anticlimactic right off the bat. If, um, let's see. We do need to put a bobbin in there, but the needle, the needle seems to be stuck down. Now, oh wait, what if I just push the foot pedal? Do you think the needle will go up and down? question is, is I need the, I need to get it so that the needle will stay up so that I can figure out how to thread it. Oh, it went up and down again. Oh, oh good. Now it's up. I got it up. Okay. So let's grab a spool of thread from my bag here. The spool of thread is practically bigger than the sewing machine. And I'm just going to go with, let's see, like wrap it around here. You know, it's kind of similar to a featherweight. It's got like this little, this little wheel here it has a wheel. But you know what? Let's see. I don't think that's right. There's a little... And then it has this thing that goes down. Let's see. And again, I wish I could get the needle to come up more. You should see this needle in here. It's, it's really fat. It's like this, I mean, it's probably what I 
is it the bigger the numbers, the bigger the needle? So it's probably like a 110. I usually sew with a 70, so this thing looks like a hypodermic, like for your spinal cord or something. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I have thread in there. I don't know if there is a threaded bobbin in there, but here, I'm going to lower it down a little bit so that you guys can see. You don't necessarily have to see me, but maybe this way you'll be able to see the machine a little better. Get some of this. So look how cute it is and it has a light. Okay, so we have... We have the thread in. Let me grab a piece of fabric. Let's see. Let's see what happens when I actually put fabric in there. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's maybe it's just not gonna work. But um, it, it's promising, right? Like. The light comes on, you can thread it. It does do something when, oh, you know what? Let me turn this. So there's an F and an R right here. I'm guessing that that means reverse and forward. So I put it all the way on the F. Let's see if that makes a difference. Do you hear it? It's making a sound, but it's not. Oh, well, now the problem is is that my fabric is stuck in there because the needle won't go down and go back up. But anyway, I think this thing is really a lot of fun. It'll be a great addition to my collection and maybe just use it even as a prop in pictures just, just to be cute. But um, anyway, I'd love to hear um, about you guys' sewing machines and what you like about them, don't like about them, what you would recommend. Um, so be sure and leave comments and don't forget to subscribe to Color Girl TV here on YouTube.